This is the August 2024 Real Estate Market Report for Bonita Springs, Estero, Florida, and the surrounding area. So what's going on in Southwest Florida? We still have these election jitters happening. Oh my gosh, you can't make up the news that happens. You know, we always have an odd time every four years. This is my seventh year as a president, uh, as a realtor during presidential elections. But this year got a little amplified when the incumbent dropped out. And when the, the thing happened in Butler, you know, things just kind of got a little crazy. Uh, buyers are still out there. We're in a level real estate market but it's just odd. They're shopping very hard. They're not making a lot of appointments. They are visiting some open homes. Uh, you know, interest rates went down a little bit, so it spurned a little bit of activity in the area. We are seeing uh, buyers out there, not a huge accumulation of inventory. You know, Bonita, the Bonita Springs market stayed level, flat, and the Naples, Fort Myers area actually went down marginally. So we're seeing this shrinking of inventory. Now, what we will see is a little pop-up coming here at the end of August. People will start listing their home uh, for the season, and there will be buyers that come, especially for Labor Day, and they are looking for a property to winter over in. So a lot of people usually make a special trip to Southwest Florida in the late summer and fall just to pick something up because it's time and then they come for the winter. If it's something that needs a little tinkering in, they start their remodeling. Um, and that's sort of like the life cycle of real estate in a normal real estate market because we had a normal-ish real estate market with regard to the seasonality of Southwest Florida. We haven't seen a seasonal summer since before COVID. So a lot of people went back. So I consider what we're seeing on the graph for units sold this year to actually be uh, normal. It's lower than all the other summers. But like if you look at this graph and you go back to like 2020, 2021, that were the two COVID years where people were flocking here because we just had different COVID restrictions. People were living their best lives and they didn't go back home in the summer because they didn't want to mask up and they many uh, places were closed or there was restrictions. Remember, there weren't things like graduation uh uh, commencement ceremonies that you were forbidden to have parties in some places. So that explains the 2020, 2021. That also explains why 2024 is lower. People went back. You can walk into a restaurant here without a restaurant invitation. It's kind of awesome, actually. If you go back to the top quadrant of this uh, market report, where it shows you how people are paying for real estate, we're at 55% cash, which is low for us. Um, and we really did expand in that conventional mortgage. So buyers use this summer as an opportunity, if they were a financing buyer, to sneak in here, grab a piece of real estate, and be able to have financing on the contract because there was less competition. We had no short sales or foreclosures, as indicated in the top right quadrant of that graph. And then also in the bottom right-hand corner, you'll see that the yellow section is a 200 and under. And in 200 and under, we did not have really any sales. I mean, it's such a small piece of the pie. I don't even think we have single family homes. That might be accounting for manufactured homes in an occasional condo, likely a one or a two bedroom condo, most likely a one bedroom condo. So, you know, our biggest sector that's selling is the 400 to 600 market. If you're looking for something 200 to 400, there's only 15% of our market that accounted for that. It's just a small piece of the pie. Real estate is still selling and people, you know, are out here quietly purchasing real estate. Now, when I created what's going on with our listings right now, if you take a look at this, um, some of them I put in here and before I'm even sending this market report, I'm putting pending on it. So we have a new listing, two bedroom, two bath, ground floor, downtown Benita. It's 225. It's really two and a den. It has an actual den. Um, inexpensive condo right down the street from Survey Cafe, a block away from the food truck food truck park rooftop at Riverside, Riverside Park, where the art shows, concerts, festivals all happen. If you want to be in the middle of the action walking distance, this is a great opportunity to pick something up on the inexpensive. 
it's you know a great little condo we're taking a look at also uh we listed a single family pool home i think we listed that one at 425 i think well it's pending sale so it doesn't really matter <laughs> that one already is under contract also we listed a polynesian villa that's on a uh, royal road and that one also pending sale right away um we have a new listing that just went on in the gardens uh, for three hundred and fifteen thousand, um, that one probably it's totally livable, but could probably use some updates. It's mostly carpet throughout the entire property, which makes a remodel super easy. You don't have a lot of tile to pull up. Um, we did a price improvement on a, a Capri in San Remo, so this is a two bedroom with a den, uh, two bath, has a swimming pool, a screen enclosure, great property, very close to everything, right out right off of Benita Beach Road. Um, in addition to that, a couple properties in Bay Forest, a condo at 375, fourth floor, treetop view with the sunset headed west. Um, Bay Forest is a really cozy community. It reminds me of a smaller version of Bonita Bay. It has a wonderful boardwalk that they are rebuilding that goes out to the bay. And these oak trees that are just so old and mature and lush. It's just, it's unlike any other neighborhood. It's definitely worth taking a look. In addition to that condo, we do have an attached villa, which is three plus a den. And it also, I, those bedrooms, two of them are primary bedrooms. So there's a primary downstairs, there's a primary upstairs. Both have huge walk-in closets. This one, again, very livable, but could probably use update, mostly carpet throughout. So it means it's fairly easy uh, to uh, replace the flooring because you don't have to pull up a lot of tile. Definitely worth taking a look at that one. It's on a gorgeous street that's all brick paver, really opulent and beautiful looking. Um, we have dozens of portfolio listings and portfolio listings are properties that people that we work with who aren't ready to list or they have taken their mark, uh, property off the market for a brief amount of time. Well, what that means to you is buyers don't know about these properties. So you aren't competing with other people. So if whatever you're looking at on the, on the internet, you're not finding what you need. We might have it in portfolio and the other buyers don't know about it. So give us a shout and maybe we can discuss um, if there's anything in there that fits what you're looking for. Last but not least, we do uh, offer assistance with uh, buying new construction statewide in Florida. Um, we use these builders, the developers and their incentive programs to negotiate for you on their behalf. So if you're looking at Lennar in Estero and you're looking at Lennar in uh, Lakewood Ranch, we can also look at what some of the other developers like Pulte are using as incentives and use that as part of our negotiation. They're always emailing real estate agents and our buyer agents that represent buyers exclusively can help you learn more on how to leverage one developer against another. So we're heading into fall really soon. So there's a couple things I want to keep you on the lookout for. We make a downtown Bonita Springs events calendar. And that's for everything that happens in downtown Bonita Springs, most especially at Riverside Park. That's where the festivals are. That's where all the events are. That's where the fun is. So we create a whole calendar of everything that's going to be there. Uh, if you are on our mailing list, we will be mailing it to you. If not, we will have it in digital form or you can request. <laughs> you can request the keepsake postcard. Uh, we mail them out usually also by every door direct. So if you live in downtown Bonita, there's a chance you may be getting one. Also, we're a few months out, but we tell people save the date uh, for Tuesday before Thanksgiving. Uh, anybody that we've helped purchase or sell a home, uh, plus a, a hefty list of a lot of people who are in agreement to be uh, represented by our buyer's agents, we have a pie day, and that is always the Tuesday before Thanksgiving. Um, last year, we had it at the Benita Springs Historical Society. We will be, again, having it at the Benita Springs Historical Society with a twist that this year we will be also having an on-property poker run. So there will be five stations where you get a card, and we will uh, have prizes for the top couple of hands of poker as well as some other fun things to do, a drawing for a cruise, and of course you get your pie, and then we always have some kind of a novelty gift that we're giving away. So save the date. If that's something that you're interested in, uh, Angela takes all of the RSVPs. So I'm gonna be overlaying uh, some photos that you'll see with her contact information. So make sure you text Angela that you would be attending. Text her your name because she'll want to know what your name is and the phone number, and we'll make sure that uh, we have a spot for you. 
If, as always, if we can help you learn more about the Bonita Springs Estero area, give us a call. Keep in mind that we work in Naples, Estero, Bonita Springs, Fort Myers, Cape Coral, but Angela actually works the entire coast all the way up to Tampa. And uh, for right now, we actually have somebody she's going to be taking out to Punta Gorda Isles, and then uh, she's been showing property in Tampa most recently. So if you're shopping the coast, especially if you're shopping a particular builder, Give her a call. She'd love to work with you and show you the best value in all of the areas you are considering searching. So have a great day. Look forward to uh, working with you. And if we can help you learn more about the Bonita Springs area, give us a call.